everybody amanda here we're just finishing off for the year it's saturday five o'clock 21st of december so we thought we'd show you what we have in our january auction 6th of january we come back to work on the 4th which is the day of the viewing that's a saturday from 11 till 4 so i thought i'd wish all my, uh, my dear sweet wonderful clients a very merry christmas uh, and a happy new year and certainly wherever they journey to i hope that it's all safe and no disaster befalls them just pure enjoyment and lots of lovely food which i'm gonna have <laughs> anyway um there's quite a number of really good things actually for our january auction this is the second time ever we're having one so early but nevertheless we're having it and there's a lovely thing here on my hand which is here for safekeeping that's a 3.97 uh, old cut uh, diamond and, and gold ring. It is. It's and it's absolutely stone. brilliant. Last time it was valued was in 1995, so that's some time ago, at $38,500. I think it would be worth a little bit more than that now for insurance. At auction, the starting bin is $11,000. That is really low. Couldn't be more modest. Yeah, that is really low. I'd love to keep it, but you people don't buy enough, so I can't keep it. I'll have to sell it to you, and I really think this is a rip. Come from a very good collection in Caulfield, and the same collection that's consigned all the David Boyd's, the Pro Hard. Such as the nice David Boyd over there. I'll walk around and have a look. Let's have a look. I'll just have a look at those. I'm showing them all. Let me show you some of these paintings over here. You know what I really love? Right behind you. Do you want me to swing with a camera? Just go around. That little uh, David Boyd there. All of them have got wonderful provenance. They were either bought from Ivani Galleries uh, in the early 90s or um, Ever Mackley. In the early 90s. I know, that's nothing, but I quite like her yeah, reflection in the pond. But let's yeah. have a look at Well, that's why I like it, because Art Deco's my thing. Let's have a look thing. at some of these David Boyd's. The Charles Blackman's here, too. It's a nice the thing. The Charles who? Charles Blackman. Just checking. Yes. That's another David Boyd from uh, the estate. That one's only got a $5,000 start bid. The little one's only $1,600. Along here... There's more. Hang on, I just spotted some jewellery. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, you want to show the jewellery. Nice bits of jewellery. Have a look over here. These are some of the fantastic ones. That's a really nice David Boyd there. And look at this. Which one? This one? That one. And look at this stunning early 1970s Pro Heart from the same collection. Look at the Now that was bought in Queensland? No? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it was Evan Mackley. And that's when he was in Caulfield or somewhere? Where was he? No, Evan Mackley when he was in Armadale. Armadale. Yes. Oh, well, I don't remember and these And this things. big David Boyd. It's a huge one. Oil on canvas. All the David Boyds, except the small ones, are oil on canvas. So none of these have been on the market for the last 20, 30 years? Correct. Look at this David uh, Pro Heart. I was going to say, it doesn't look like no, a David no, Boyd. It's not. 1969, a really early one. And I was just a toddler then. And they have to sell the estimates are really low. There's another work from the same estate, a, a Nolan. That's, that was bought, uh, purchased from Avani Galleries in uh, Turek. In fact, believe it or not, there's a couple of Evan Mackleys. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Vita, Evan Mackley, the dealer turned artist. Correct. The restaurant. The very same. The, the restaurant. Restaurant. The restaurant. Restaurant tour. <laughs> yes. Now there's some wonderful artworks in the auction. I like the Max Mannixes in the auction as well. Uh, there's a really interesting John Olsen over there. Now, throughout the auction, there's some wonderful things. Uh, there's some wonderful rare pieces in this cabinet. Icons, Russian icons. Zina Werkstatt, really rare uh, Hagenauer double horse head, unusual things. This is a really rare uh, Jap Ravalli uh, man vase from about 1955. I can't move the camera that fast. You can't? But okay. all the photos are on our website. All the catalogue descriptions are on our website. 
So it's all there. It all they have to do is come in on the 4th. 4th. But they can ha have a look at... Everything should be up before Christmas. So they can have a look at all the photos and uh, the catalogue details before Christmas. So they've got two weeks to really have a good look throughout. I've got to show you some of the furniture bits that's come in from the collection in Canterbury. Oh, this is from the estate. Uh, this is from another uh, uh, state, but the... <laughs> so you're uh, talking about Canterbury. Canterbury that nut. came tr from Trafalgar. That's right. <laughs> uh, the Burr Walnut uh, Credenza, stunning uh, condition, $500 start bid. That's low. I like the sewing table that came in from the house in Canterbury. Oh, this little one here. Needs a bit of work, but it's very yeah, it's sweet. Very nice. I think there's one drawer. The top slides. It's a slide, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, don't break it. Don't it's break it. Listen, it's been around for over 100 years. I'll, don't I'll you go breaking to, it now. To open it. This is an expert at work, is it? Can you show me how it slides? <laughs> no, it's a mystery. Okay. So it slides, go. David. It this slides. Way. This way? Or I had a good look. It slides. Is it a car table underneath? <laughs> no, it's got compartments for them. Um, okay. Well, it could be a card table. It's a bit small for a card table. The estimate's very low, a hundred dollar start bid. That's pretty good. Is that affordable? <laughs> I think so. So is that lovely chaise over there that needs nothing oh, doing. Yeah, that, that is nice. Unusual carving on the back too. Unusual one. Which Show them something else unusual, like over there, the um now that's Austrian, isn't it? The filing cabinet? Oh the, uh, that's uh, uh, yes it is. Part of the Wiener Verstadt. If you can get low down below they can read that label. Can you see it? Yep. This has come in from Preston, believe it or not. Now that's from a lady that's lived over there and come you back here and lived over there. You think and that's just... <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works. David, you're going to break it, aren't you? <laughs> well, we know it definitely works now. <laughs> David the handyman. He's so useful. <laughs> Make them see it's all complete. In well, there. the mechanism's good. It is. Now that desk is also, also Bergstarter. Uh, it, well. it needs attention, but it's quite nice. But for fifty dollars start bids on these items, why not? Couldn't be more modest no, if you couldn't. tried. No, we It's not a super big auction, but everything in the auction's great. We've got good quality items, and they're priced to sell. All the vendors want to sell. Uh, the estimates are super low. So Why? They spend too much money at Christmas. Oh, one of them... Uh, They've all got different reasons. <laughs> well, everyone's got different reasons. The estate, the uh, wife is moving out of the house. She needs to sell because she's moving into an apartment. Uh, the estate, uh, the family have taken what they wanted. Uh, the lady from Preston, she's gone overseas. So all of these things have to be sold. So there are different reasons why people sell. Uh, if there's any queries at all, Give us a call after January, not between Christmas and, and the New Year. Year. <laughs> Give us a call afterwards, but hopefully we see you at this auction. It'll be exciting and there'll be great items on offer. Uh, we'll see you at the auction. Bye.